Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to discuss about types of compiler. So we have two types of compiler. The first one is incremental compiler and the second one is cross compiler. So what is incremental compiler and what is cross compiler? So coming to in incremental compiler, incremental compiler is a compiler which performs a recompilation of the only modified source. The source which is modified only that is recompiled rather than compiling the whole source program. So if, if there is any error or any uh, a syntax error, so actually happens is it will uh, recompile the entire program. So for example, if I modify some source, some piece of code in the source, so only that modified source will be compiled rather than compiling the entire source program. So this is called incremental compiler. So now what is the use of this incremental compiler? Now we will see the features of a incremental compiler. So it tracks the dependencies between output and source program. So what are the different dependencies we have between the output, what is our output and what is the source program. So what are the dependencies? It tracks the dependencies. It produces the same result as a full recompile. So when we uh, recompile the program, uh, when full recompilation happens, what output will be given? The modified, if you recompile the modified source, only the modified source itself also gives the same result. That's the benefit of uh, future of incremental compiler. It is effective for maintenance. So it is most effective for maintenance. So this is all about incremental compiler. And the second one is cross compiler. Now, now we'll see what cross compiler is. So if you see this, So here, cross compiler contains three. One is source, which is nothing but your application program. Second one, target, which is nothing but where machine code is written. That is machine understandable format. Implementation in which the compiler is written. So this cross compiler contains these three. Machine, source, target, implementation. So uh, in shortcuts, we can write like this. This is source. This is target and this is implementation. Source, target and implementation. Now we'll see an example. The cross compiler is whenever if we combine two different compilers. So every compiler has source, target and implementation. And there will be a result which is another compiler and we call it as cross compiler. So uh, let's see an example for this. So here I have A, B, X. So I have a compiler. My source is A. My target is B. My implementation is X. As I said that, this becomes our source. This becomes our target. This becomes our implementation. For example, I have another compiler. A, B, Y. So this is second compiler in which my source is A, my target is B and my implementation is Y. Cross compiler is, uh, cross compiler, we get cross compiler in such a way that when two compilers are combined each other and when two compilers have the same source and same target. So in the first compiler I have A as source and B as target. In the second compiler also I have A as the same source and B as the same target. So here the implementations will be different. Now the resultant is nothing but a cross compiler which we get from combining these two compilers and here implementation is x for compiler a compiler 1 and the implementation is y for compiler 2. Now the result cross compiler will be and the implementation of compiler 1 x becomes our source. So this implementation X becomes our source and the implementation of compiler 2 Y becomes our target. Okay. So X becomes our source and Y becomes our target. So and whatever be the target and that target becomes our implementation. So here in the resultant cross compiler X is my source and Y is my target. Whatever I have in target that becomes my implementation. So Y is implementation. So this is nothing but cross compiler. Okay. So let's see another example. So here I have a 
So if I have x, y, z, x, y, a. Now the cross compiler will be here x and y are source and target, both are same. So this z becomes my source, a becomes my target and a becomes my implementation. So this is my cross compiler. So z becomes my source, a becomes my target and this a becomes my implementation as well. Okay. So in two compilers, if the source and target are different, then there is no chance of getting a cross compiler. So types of compilers, we have the first one incremental compiler and the second one is cross compiler. Now, uh, this, is, this is all about types of compilers. Now we will see bootstrapping of a compiler. Bootstrapping of a compiler. Now what is bootstrapping of a compiler? It is a process in which simple language is used to translate more complicated program which in turn gets even more complicated program. So what exactly does it mean? So as we already explained about cross compiler, right? So what exactly happens in cross compiler? When we have two, uh, two sorts of a compiler, when we combine that, we get a resultant cross compiler. So bootstrapping will be applied for cross compiler. So what exactly happens is whenever we combine two compilers, we get a complicated program called cross compiler. So when we use that cross compiler and we, we combine with another compiler, we get even more complicated program. So we get the result of a complicated program. And if we combine with another compiler, we even more, uh, we'll get even more complicated program. In this way, this uh, process will never end. And this is called bootstrapping of a compiler. So let's see an example so that we get a clear cut idea about it. Here I have A, B, C. A, B, X. Now what is my resultant cross compiler? This C becomes my source. And X becomes my uh, target and this x becomes my implementation language so a b c a b x so this c becomes my source and x becomes my uh, target and x becomes my implementation now this one is a complicated program okay this one is a complicated program now if i combine this with another compiler like c x some y okay so if I compare, if I combine with C, X and Y, so here the source is C, source is C, X is target and X is target. Here, X is my implementation, Y is my implementation. Now I will get another cross compiler with source as X, target as Y and implementation is Y. Now this becomes even more complicated. So this is nothing but bootstrapping. Okay. So uh, this is all about bootstrapping of a compiler. So in this class, we discussed about types of compiler and bootstrapping of a compiler. Okay, so I hope you understood the uh, today's topic. So the students who are watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well-wishers and please support our channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.